Hey guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my dollhouse. So, this is the dollhouse tour for April 2018, and let's get started because I'm super excited. Alright guys, this is the first room, and it belongs to the twin sisters, Sylvie, truly me number 24, and Tenny, which is the Tenny Rant contemporary character. And so, since Sylvie is based on the Grace, the Grace's cousin from the Grace books and movie, she has a lot of French things in here, and Tenny's got a lot of country things. So, if we want to take a look over here, we have this mirror, and it's kind of got a rustic look to it. I really liked it because it's got that bird at the top. And then down we have down there we have the Eiffel Tower and we haven't hung it up yet. We've got the bed and bedding with lots of pillows and the girls' mini dolls. They have their pet dogs. Macaroon is the French poodle. And then Burnett is Henry's Golden Retriever. I believe in the book they had a different name for the dog, but I think it looked more like a girl. So, we have over here lots of different things on the desk, and the desk is actually the vanity from Tenny Grant's uh, stage. Yes, her stage. And if you want to look over here, we have the two Truly Me earring trees. Grace has... Sylvie has Grace's tablet, Tenny's notebook, and flowers, and also parasign, and some different things in the drawers. The room directly below them belongs to Molly and Emily, and let's take a look. Both girls are really into tap. So we have tap shoes, then there's an American flag and a British flag, because as you know, their story takes place during World War II. Molly has her little nurse doll and a bean bag on top of the shelf, which is actually a locker shelf. And then we have Molly's Christmas accessories behind this little cubby, which is like a pencil slash toothbrush holder. I think it could be either one, but tip down its side, it's perfect for holding the doll's little accessories. And then on the top, we have a card that my best friend Jay made for Emily, and it's got some things inside, like little paper dolls that she can cut out, but I thought they were so cute, I didn't want to cut them out and risk ruining them. And behind that, we have Emily's scrapbook. Over here, we have the American Girl doll bed that comes from the hotels, the American Girl Partner Hotels, and it, this one has a pillow that my mom sewed, and the Rebecca Minning doll, along with Bennett, Molly's dog, and the snow globe. We have a locker rug over here, and the same thing on the other side, with Minnie doll Josefina, and Emily's dog, Yank. The next room below Molly and Emily's room is the dance studio, and this room is a favorite of Isabel and Louisa, and some of some other dolls like to come in here too, but mostly them, because we have lots of Isabel's things. So we have Isabel's studio set where she has her makeup and things that she likes to sew with and of course she keeps a water bottle and a book so she can stay hydrated while she's pressing on the ballet bar or she can just come in here and relax and read and she also has a couple toys in here so it's really her hangout room. She has her dress form so she can display her latest creations and her yoga mat so she can always stay on her her a-game when she's stretching moving on to our next dollhouse the room in the bottom left is the bathroom and we have a bathtub samantha's washstand 
the um, vanity, the bathroom vanity, and the Our Generation hair salon, little cubby back there. We have lots of products for their hair and their skin, soaps and shampoos, and I really, really like this room, especially with the marble floor, and it really just looks and feels like an actual doll's bathroom. Alright, the room to the right of that one belongs to Samantha and Rebecca, and I really love this room because it's all pretty and pink. We have, in the back, there is a picture frame with Samantha's tea set. These both girls are very fancy, and they have their two dolls, Julie and Samantha. Samantha's Rebecca's and Julia's Samantha's. Over in the corner here, we have Rebecca's phonograph and Rebecca's two little purses. And one of Rebecca's kittens is sitting on the carpet. That one's marked wrong. Then over in the other corner, we have the Perils of Pauline movie poster, Dominoes, the um, Hanukkah set, Rebecca's Hanukkah set, and her Russian nesting dolls. Then at the foot of the bed, we have another cat, Brown Sugar, the phonograph music, and the lacy umbrella is stored over in the corner. And of course, we have Rebecca's bed. The next room up belongs to my Hawaiian historical character, Nanea Mitchell. And I really love this room because my mom and I made the bedding for the bed that my grandpa and I made. And it is super cute. I do believe that homemade beds and bedding is really cool for your dolls and it's a great experience to get to make them as well. On Nanea's bed she's resting her Hawaiian flowers that she uses to dance with. I can't really pronounce the name. She has lots of Hawaiian posters and on her dresser she has an advertisement for a luau party. She also has a coconut water, a smoothie, a jar of shells, and a flamingo. Underneath her vanity, she has her two purses from her accessory set. Her accessory set actually only comes with one, but I bought two and I have one inside out. Then she also has her bag for her hula set. And over this, on the side, she has her Hawaiian boy dog, Melee, and the Melody mini doll on her stand. And she also has jar of flowers that I and take a closer look at her desk and posters. There they are. The posters are from the American Girl store on the release day. So we've got Diamond Head. So the Diamond Head poster, the Hula poster, the Aloha poster, and she also has poster that just says Nanea. And now let's move on to the next room. Alright, so to the left of Nanea's room is our next room, which three girls share. So let's just start by looking at the bottom. We have a lantern from Colonial Williamsburg, a baby stroller, and Felicity's baby sister, Polly's little crib. I don't actually have Polly. The crib was a good will find. And then on the bottom bunk, we have Marie Grace's bed, and she has her mini doll, Nellie, and her dog, Argus. The next bunk belongs to Cecile, and she has her mini doll, Addie, and her parrot, parrot, not parrot, parrot, Couchon. I believe that's how you pronounce it anyway. Next to her bed, we have a poster with the quote, where music fails, where music fails, where Words Fail, Music Speaks by H.C. Andrews. I'm just getting all tongue-tied today. Then up at the top, we have Felicity's bunk. And, sorry, someone fell. On Felicity's bunk, on the top, we have Mary Grace and Cecile's mask. Party mask are being hung down. 
the mini doll sage, Felicity's little handkerchief kind of scarf. Then she has her three pets oh, up there. It's a guinea pig and two hamsters. And I believe their names were Sunny for the guinea pig. It was Sunny for the guinea pig. And then the two hamsters' names, I believe, were Jade and Crystal. I don't know exactly. And then I almost forgot that down here on the bottom is Felicity's bed warmer. Alright, so now let's go up to the big room at the top. Up here we have a super large room, which is at the top of the middle dollhouse. So on this side, it, we have Isabel, the girl of the year 2014, and truly me, number 29, Louisa, who I based on her best friend from the book series. And then on the other side, we have Lainey, girl of the year 2010, and Dakota, her best friend, which is girl of the year. Um, truly me, number 33. So we have the gardening set over here, and it has two doll iPads, Lainey's laptop, and some different accessories over here. We have Praline, the dog, and then our generation, Betty Betty, and it has Kit and Ruthie, their dolls, and Lainey's orangutan. And then back in the back, that blue little poster says, Believe in yourself. Over on Isabel's side, we have Caroline and Cecile. We have Tutu. And then, of course, I almost forgot about the thing. The pets in the middle. Um, from left to right is Bean, Princess, and Slipper. And then over top of Slipper is Tutu, Isabel's cat. And then over here on the side, we have two coconut dogs. And from left to right, I named them Coconut and Flower. And then Isabel's case and her ballerina. And then I believe that it fell down, but in the back over here with Isabel, there is a sign that says, dancing with the feet is one thing, but dancing with the heart is another. It's a really inspirational quote, and since she's a dancer, it means quite a lot to her. Alright, let's go to the side to the next dollhouse. This room at the top on the third and final dollhouse belongs to Mary Ellen and Kit. And Mary Ellen is often referred to as a Lynn. So if you ever hear me talking about a Lynn, that is Mary Ellen. So we have the jukebox is over in the corner and it is plugged in plugged in to the wall. Then we have Scooter, Mary Ellen's dog. A little rug and then a Be Forever package on the side. Then up here we have an Isabel mini doll, a Kit, uh, not Kit, a Nehea mini doll, and Kit's sock monkey from the Christmas set, and Marianne's purse. And those things are resting on a green and pink bed that I got a long time ago for my birthday. This room belongs to the three, it belongs to three girls, Caroline, Lydia, who's truly me, number 23, and Sydney, who's the Our Generation doll, Sydney Lee, and it is not fully complete quite yet. I'll be sure to do an updated dollhouse tour, or maybe just an update in this room as soon as it, as it is, but right now it's got bedding, a bed, and a couple different accessories. I'm still waiting on the rug because I'm using my locker rug from this year. So over here hiding in the corner is Inkpot and Ginger. Inkpot and Ginger are Caroline and Lydia's caps. We have Sydney's point shoes. Caroline's little bag from her meat purse. Over there in the corner is Easter, Caroline's, uh, not Caroline, Sydney's cat. 
and we have the mini dolls. So from back to front, it is Elizabeth, Kaya, and Felicity, and on top of Kaya is Sydney's stuffed poodle. And I really think this room will turn out great when it's done. Let's move on to the last room of the actual dollhouse. The last and final room is, of course, the parlor. And this is Caroline's parlor. So we have the first, the first little section over here is the window seat. And on top of that one, we have Caroline's basket filled with treats. We again have marble flooring instead of the wood flooring that's throughout the rest of the house. Then we have the fireplace and mantle. The mantle has a candle on it, and then we have the poster of the ship. Not poster, but the picture in the picture frame. You all know what I mean. Sorry, I have to adjust my camera so you guys can see this last little section. And it has a couple dessert bowls and dessert trays. They aren't they don't have any dessert on them right now though. Then we have the ship, the sailor's valentines, the little car the little carousel horse figurine, and Woodworth's cabinet library. And we have drawers which I'm sure have some sorts of trinkets in them that the girls have stashed. And then last we have Rebecca's settee. And so now let's move on to the girls' patio. This is the patio that my dad built for me and the girls. Well, the dolls, you know. So we have Nenea's Market, Pano's Market, which has been dubbed by me and my friends Pano Bucks, because it's the Starbucks of the doll world. And we have a table and chairs and a nice fishing set. And I really like the way this looks, and it's such a great piece. All of it is. We have the little mailbox so we can mail the postcards that they have. Little trash cans in the back. You can see those. But yes, the deck is actually raised so the girls can just step up on it and have a great time shopping at Pono's Market. So let's swing to the side here and look at the camper. The camper kind of serves as a dual purpose for the girls because not only is it Lainey and Dakota's favorite place to hang out, it is also where the Welly Wisher spends the majority of her time because she doesn't have a room with the big girls, so she'll camp out in the camper a lot. She really enjoys it. But we have Lainey's camper and all of Lainey's camper accessories. Up here at the top we have a DIY fish tank, the Leah mini doll and a couple Welly Wisher accessories and some stuffed animals in the doghouse along with Lainey's rabbit Lulu up on top. Then if we look down in here we have some flowers and some pieces from Lainey's camper and we also have Lainey's hammock which is a really enjoyable piece and I overall really like this and the way it's set up. So let's move along to Kaya's teepee. So here's Kaya's teepee and her accessories. Kaya always keeps her horse steps high and her foal sparks flying around with her. She has two campfires. One of them actually went to Kit's treehouse. And then inside the actual teepee we have her dog, Alto, and some of her different accessories. And you can see her bedding over here in the corner with her two dolls, Speaking Rain and Marie Grace. And speaking of the horses, Kaya keeps her horses near her, but we actually do have horse stables. So the horse stables are in this little alcove over here. And inside the horse stables, we have a couple different horses, and we also have cows and a chicken. So the chicken's name is actually just Chicken. Sometimes they call him Bach, but mostly chicken. And then we have a cow named Garnet, which was from Caroline's collection. And then we have a couple, two Truly Me horses and a foal. So this one right here, that 
horse's name is, well, that horse's name, I believe is something like, I named it something like Coco, or it's like Coco or something. The one in the back is Penny, Felicity's horse, the first AG horse actually, and then that one is Morgan, because it is a Morgan foal, and that's why my grandparents got it for me, because my name is Morgan, so I just called Horse Morgan. No rhyme or reason other than it's just Morgan. Okay, I'm acting weird, but let's go up and look at the treehouse, which is also in this little alcove here. Then we have the different animals. So we have, this is actually Kylie's dog, Sandy, but I call it Jip, because we don't have Kylie. We just have Samantha. Then we have the raccoon, who always is in the trash can, but we call him Recycle. Then we have the squirrel, which his name is just Squirrel, and the fox, who I kind of like to call Auburn. Then we have the owl, which is Snowy, and the Harry Potter fans of my dolls like to pretend he's Hedwig sometimes. But, you know. Sorry. I'm a bit of a Harry Potter nerd, but that's for another video. We have Kit's treehouse, which has a little garland, and then Kit's desk. So let's move a little closer in here. So Kit's desk and TV. Let me turn on a light. Kit's desk, and did I say TP instead of typewriter? Yes, I did. Kit's desk and typewriter. So that's that set. And here is, so we just came from over there. Here is the car and the carriage. And those are, I think, the only two like vehicles kind of that I have. Then up there is Tenny Stage, and we also have um, lots of different instruments up there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and swing over here. We have doll clothes and that, the little, that thing, I forgot what, dresser, armoire, something. And then up there is where the people's hair stuff and random accessories that they may have. And then I've got all their clothes in piles because we haven't gotten a dresser yet. We're going to the And then up here we have Caroline's boat, a happy Easter sign that I haven't taken down yet. And then Samantha's desk, the little Spot chair, the salon chair, two more salon chairs, cabana and the tent and a bunch of chairs are inside there. Our generation biking scooter, treats table, snack cart, and gymnastics set. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my dollhouse tour. And if you want to see more dollhouse tours, um, when it gets updated, comment down below. You can really comment down any video that you want. Also, please visit the link in the description box down below. There is a survey that you can fill out. The survey closes on the last day of April, which I believe is April 30th. So if you have any suggestions for videos or anything like that, and if you do suggest a video and you want to get a shout out when I make that video, well, if I make it, because some of them I can't make. But if you want to get a shout out, then feel free to like leave your channel name or like an Instagram name or whatever. Um, even though I don't have Instagram, I can't give you a shout out on there. But like I can say, go visit their Instagram. You know what I mean. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video.